So here are some of my ideas around how to play Poruna Cabeza. So we're going to start with a chromatic line on the third string. And I think on the video that I performed it on, I was playing free stroke, which is, but you can play it rest stroke if you like. Second bar, we've got an E, basically an E chord. And then you can kind of rest that or keep, keep going in the bass. And then the bass goes to B and I play it like that. And then again, E chord, all right? Keep going. Now that you'll notice that, that we have a, a bass note on the first beat and on the fourth beat. So if we're playing an E, the bass note is usually the, the, the dominant, which is B. So we're going to go back to E. And now this time we're going a G sharp in the bass, and we go to B7. Then we're going to move to fifth, uh, seventh position. And this is a B7 chord. And then so we do that twice. And then chromatic scale from D sharp. And then we go bar chord, bar chord, you get set up for the bar chord. And then we're going to play the, the rest of the chord here. Now this is important to slide the four like that. All right, so um, let's do that again. Sometimes I'll do the B there, but you can do it open. Now repeat the opening. This time we're going to put the B there. B, E, like this. This time I put, uh, well, we've got some extra notes. E7. And then add that D just to make it more E7. And we go A chord. I usually just bar that like that. Keep going. Bit of a stretch there, G sharp to F sharp. We go. Now the, the melody note is actually in the middle there, but I'm playing those three notes, which is a A minor major seven. Alright. F sharp, which is a five of five. B seven. Now we change key. All right, so this is where sort of the tango begins. So I'm sliding the four along like that. E minor chord. If you want to put that B in there, that also sounds good. But I found that a little bit tricky, so I sometimes leave it out. And then once you hit that B, we play that B again. And then we play the F sharp like that. So it's a little bit of a jump, but you've got time. Now we go to a C. Now notice it's a triplet, triplet quaver, so you've got to play those three notes in the space of a minimum. So it's da, 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 like that. Now let's keep going. Then we go C chord. Ba, ba, ba. We go to a like a G with a B bass, A minor, and you'll notice that I put my third finger there like that so that I can keep the the, the fingers on the thirds like that, and then we go E minor. We go to an again our five of five. So I'm going to play it like that. Then move the first finger to there, and then we end up with this sort of diminished chord. B seven. This this moment of tension is really um, important to bring that out. Very tense. Like da, and then re re resolve. Repeat. Ba ba ba. F 
sharp D7. So we often get this. Normally, when we're playing an E minor, the chord two is not F sharp, it's F sharp minor. So it's just the five of five. Or we go. 